Welcome back everyone. Today's seniors are healthier and more active than ever before. So it's no surprise to see them traveling and exploring the world. But travel for seniors can be tight on the purse strings. So where are some of the best travel deals to enjoy during the golden years? Daytime Zone getaway girl herself, Casey Wall is here to share some amazing deals for grandma and grandpa. Casey, good to have you back. Thanks for having me. I think I like where grandma and grandpa are going. I All do these too. places are really fun. I know. <laughs> Let's start with Clearwater, Florida. Yeah. No, I picked Clearwater Beach because the Hyatt Regency Clearwater Beach Resort and Spa is very new, and it's an all-suite resort. Nice. Yes, so it's not like you're in a little, you know, uh, hotel room. Mm -hmm. You actually have a full kitchen, dining room, living room, all the comforts of home, but you get the beach amenities, a wonderful spa, they have great restaurants there, and there's AARP savings, 10% off Good. your stay for seniors. Mm -hmm. You can also do stay four nights, get the fifth night free. Excellent. Plus free breakfast, and you can do premium suite upgrades for $25. And they have two bedroom suites, so if you want to go with another couple and split the cost, it's another great way to save money. And you can still get room service. Absolutely. <laughs> you can afford it. That's <laughs> nice. Okay, let's go to Asheville, North Carolina. Asheville, you know, this is more solitude and serenity. It's located in the Blue Ridge Mountains. It's absolutely beautiful. But the Grove Park Inn is offering a great, we're turning 100 together. Nice. Yeah, now this means the Grove Park Inn, they turn 100 next year. So mm -hmm. anyone also turning 100 next year gets to stay there for two nights with meals, everything paid for. Free? Free. Oh, Absolutely I love free. that. Yeah, so if you make it to 100, definitely go to Grove Park. And then any rooms traveling with that person get a 10% discount as well. Perfect. Yes. But if you're not turning 100, some seniors say, oh, I'm not quite there yet. Um, there's still some great deals in Asheville. Obviously, the Biltmore Mansion is a must-see. They have a great new exhibit oh, on the Vanderbilt family. There beautiful. it is right there. Oh, my gosh. It's incredible. Um, seniors get $10, or $10 off. If you book online, $15 off. And a really cool thing, they have the North Carolina Center for Creative Retirement in Asheville. Really? Yes, which may sound like something for residents. It's actually it's not. And they have great one-day workshops, huh. everything from stargazing and astronomy to um, around the world in 80 beers, which <laughs> sounds like a good one for me. Um, and these are all $25. And they also have festivals year-round that are pretty much free in Fun Asheville. Fun times. Looking forward yeah, to the very, shindig on the green. Yeah, My shindig gosh. on the green. Very affordable. Let's go to Kenya. Kenya. It's a little out there. It is out there, and that's one of these trips that people say, well, gosh, it's, you know, my bucket list. I don't know if I can afford it. Mm. However, Great Value Vacations is offering a really incredible deal. It's mostly guided trip, which means it's pretty safe, and it's mostly, the people going on it are mostly 55 and older, mm -hmm. so it is really geared towards the senior travel. Now, if you go during the low season, it's $2,800 per person. Okay. That's your airfare. That's six nights accommodation, most of your meals, and your guides. That's not bad at all. It's an incredible deal, mm -hmm. and you know, it's state-of-the-art accommodations. It's actually some of the same places where Robert Redford and Meryl Streep stayed when they filmed Out of Africa. Nice. So do the safari, go to Africa, and have a great time. Kenosha, Wisconsin. Kenosha, Wisconsin. Now, Orson Welles and Miss America 2012 have each called Kenosha home at really? one point. Yeah, so <laughs> a little bit more on the map than you may think. I looked it up when, yeah. I, when I read that Kenosha, Wisconsin was a place to go. You know, I always like these off-the-beaten-path ones. Um, very cute town. You feel like you step back in time. There's tons of history there, and uh, year-round savings. They have tons of museums, um, a Civil War Museum, they have a Veterans Memorial, they have a public museum that actually has a mammoth that was excavated in Kenosha County. Wow. Yeah, really cool things. They have drive-ins, um, Frank's Diner, which is the longest continually operating diner in the country. It was hauled there in, by six horses in 1926. So really cool things, electric streetcars, a lot of fun. All right, Casey Wall, looking forward to retirement. Thank yeah. you very much. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Dayton, we'll be right back.